Okay. Um, combine. Oh yeah, combine all these forces into one. Right. Uh, so we were gonna spend some money there. Oh, what's this? Ask to embargo. Ah, just forget it. No, I'm not interested. Oh, Venice is in the Byzantine Empire too. Is it? Uh. Hmm. Not much I can do about that. Let's see then. Holdings that we can improve, perhaps? Hmm. Could spend a ton of money on jousting lists if I wanted to. This is Epinal. Could, I could raise the amount of troops that Epinal could provide. That would be useful. More interested in levy size than garrison size. If anybody was ever to siege it, it would take a while to get to Epinal. Hmm. Let's look around. I could build a whole new holding, couldn't I? Uh, except that I'm already at my domain limit, which means I'd have to give it away. Which would put me above my vassal limit, so I don't want to do that right now. This is Vaudemont, which is giving me 15 gold and 871 soldiers. Hmm. Okay, about in Bar, Bar le Duc, just giving me 15 gold and almost a thousand soldiers. Basically, I'm looking at building the same thing in a bunch of different counties. It just depends on how much money I want to spend to do it. Oh, Castle Town. Castle Town might make the most sense there in uh, Longuyon. In fact, I think it's going to. We'll, we'll see. Come back to that. Longuyon. Fernandoa, Rethel. Rethel's giving me 15 gold and 800 soldiers. Build, oh, I can't build a castle. Jousting lists, stables, or training grounds. And then uh, Haino, of course. Ath. Which I've only recently just gotten. I think it's going to be Longuyon with the castle town. Say okay to that. And I've still got a bunch of gold so I can build something else too. We'll improve Bar le Duc a little bit. Or should I improve Epinal? My soldier output in Epinal. Hmm. Let's do the. No, let's do the barracks. Maybe now I can I can actually afford to do another one. Um. This is in Rethel. Uh, yeah, training grounds. I think. Well, I don't know. More interested in troop numbers than I am in reinforcement rate. The morale would be good. Morale hasn't really been an issue, though, either, has it? Uh, stables. Improve the stables, men. Yeah, this. Oh, I have another child without a guardian. Amalberga, my kinswoman. Sure, Hesso will do it. My liege, peace be with you. I have discovered a plot where Count 
Archambault of Bourbon seeks to fabricate a claim on the Duchy of Bourbon. Well then, Zadirad. Um, fabricate a claim on the Duchy of Bourbon, eh? Won't end the plot. Hmm. Yeah, now that I have Aquitaine, I got this whole mess to deal with. You know, I don't care that much. Sure, go for it, dude. All right, man. Kaiser, Norbert, and the Chatenois dynasty are sitting pretty at the moment, I have to say. No real faction challenges in sight. Independence, 51%. That We might have to deal with that maybe next time, but... Um, two kingdoms in Norbert's reign that we've gained, Hungary and Aquitaine. Um, yeah, it's a lot of progress here in this in this reign. He's been reigning since, let's see... January 24th of 1260, so we're going on... This is 29 years. It'll be 30 years in 1290. People are croaking all over the place. Nick the Sword of the Morning. What? <laughs> okay. I'm confused about that name. Anselm Nick the Sword of the Morning is no longer guardian of Radbot Nick the Sword of the Morning. Strange. Radbot Nick the Sword of the Morning? You need a, a, a educator. Sure, Grand Mayor Lothar. Uh, yeah, Norbert... I don't know, he's he's giving Kaiser Dietrich the second, Kaiser Dietrich the Great, a run for his money in terms of best Kaiser, I think. No real domestic issues. He hasn't had any family, you know, he hasn't had any betrayals or beheadings and no affairs and stuff like that. This is he's he's been on the straight and narrow. Oh, Radbot Sh oh, it just said Radbot Chatenois is now known as but for some reason the name is Nick the Sword of the Morning or something like that. I don't know. Cool, whatever it is, it sounds really cool. My prisoner, Bishop Adamar of Saint Dizier, is complaining about his dark cell in the dungeon, asking for more suitable accommodations. Let's be merciful. Can we maybe we should start setting some of these people free? Hello, what the hell? Oh. Duke Thietmar of Luxembourg has usurped the title County of Ulick from Hesso Salian. Yeah, it took you a while. Burger needs an educator again. Bishop Wenzel, sure. Over the vassal limit. Of course I am. Now why does that put me over the vassal limit? All he did was get another county. I don't know. Okay, I gotta give away another count, I guess. Hmm. Could give the Countess of Ulamuk to somebody. Let's give her to whichever of our dukes likes me the most. King of Sicily freaking loves me. Uh, let's see. King of Aquitaine loves me, of course. Barons love me. Duke of Franconia loves me. So does the Duke of Upper Burgundy. Why do you love me so much? County of Würzburg. Who's your heir? Your heir is... Good God, your heir is your son who's just born? Because your oldest son is the commander of the Knights of Santiago, huh? Interesting problem you have there, bud. Hope you survive long enough for your son to reach age. Let's transfer you Countess of Ostfriesland. Ha! 
She went from being the Duchess of Brabant to now being a vassal of the Duke of Franconia. Okay, that gets me back down to 39. That's wonderful. Let's play to our 30th anniversary of becoming the Kaiser. And then we'll uh, start planning our feast to celebrate it. And then I think I'll call this play session quits. And the first thing that'll happen in the next play session is we will um, have the feast. My liege, may you live in harmony and contentment. I've discovered a plot where Count Matthias of La Marche seeks to fabricate a claim in the Duchy of Bourbon. Okay, everybody wants Bourbon. Fine. Have at it, boys. Why is it not showing me any of the duchies over here? Oh, because they all belong to Aquitaine. The king of Aquitaine, I guess. Oh, he just moved his capital. Okay. Vassal, limit, uh, vassal levy penalties are going down. Daughter was born to Ulrich Chatenois. Uh, my kinsman, Peter's son. And Sophie von Heimbach, named Helga. Congratulations, you two. What the hell is this? You can imprison the following subjects without incurring tyranny. Duke Svatopluk, the Chaste of Savoy. Duke of Savoy seeks to fabricate a claim on the county of Geneva. Hmm... Oh, I guess I auto-asked him to end the plot. That's why it's telling me he's considering another... Yeah. He must have decided to end it. Yep, looks like it. Uh, my liege, my work in Barian seems to have come to fruition. By bribing, cajoling, extorting, threatening, and forging documents, I've managed to fabricate a claim on the county of Barian present presently held by... Do Diogenes of Longobardia. I leave it up to you whether to use it or not. Hmm. Hmm. He actually likes me quite a bit. I think I have to use it. It's going to cost me 500 gold. Whoa. Which is pretty much all that I have. <laughs> Oops. I spent too much money on uh, improvements, I guess. And 150 prestige. It's a strong claim on County of Berrien, I think which means that it's inherited. I don't have any claims right now. Yeah. This is Varian right down here. So then, I think I would have a chance to usurp, or, um, hmm. I think I'd have a chance to claim it, right? I mean, I wouldn't be the Duke, somebody, uh, you know, the... Whoever I... Okay. Because uh, here's what I'm thinking. I would have Apulia, or rather, one of my vassals would have Apulia. A vassal would have Barian. We'd have two-thirds of the duchy. Could I press one of their claims on the duchy? I think I could. But do I need to do that? Here I have a guy that would join me right now. I have a couple guys that would join me right now. Um, that might have been a waste. I should have checked out claimants first before I... But then again, this would be a claim that I would have. I could claim it and hold it, perhaps. Mm. You know what, let's use it. I can always make a decision later whether I want to press the claim for myself or bring a claimant into the court and press it on their behalf. I would have to give away a county to them or something, you know, give away a holding to them, so it would cost me something, but uh, yeah, we'll work it out some other time. Let's use it for now, though. Who cares if we piss off the doge, do, do whatever his name was, Diogenes.
Gutier Gilililis has been released from King Alphonse of Aquitaine's dungeon. Georg shot one of my kinsmen. Needs an educator. Nope, I don't want to get him married. I don't want to do that. I want to get him educated. Sure, Thietmar. Go for it. Arnold von Diethmarchen has been elected the new Prince Mayor of the Great Republic of the Hansa. Very good. He doesn't really... He's indifferent to me. Fine. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, no. 1289? What is it? 1290, okay. For a second I thought I blew right through my anniversary, but I still have half a year to go. So at that time of year, what will I be able to do? I can hold a feast, I think, right? I can hold a feast at least November. I could hold a summer fair right now. Maybe, maybe I should... Uh, a grand hunt. At least September. It'll be January when I reach my reach my um, anniversary. But you know what? Maybe I'll make it like a anniversary type of uh, year, sort of. I'll have a summer fair right now in anticipation of it, <laughs> with such little gold, and I'll have a feast in the winter to celebrate the actual anniversary. I've given the order. The summer fair should be held in Lorraine this summer. This should make the peasants happy. I watched my daughter, Constanza, at play with another child yesterday and noticed that she didn't want to share her toys. I can already tell you... Oh, wait. I'm greedy. I was going to say I'm gregarious, so of course I want to share, but I'm also greedy. I'd say this is how children learn thrift. She needs the birch. God will save her from hell! Hmm, I think I might do this one because of the religious side. Being a crusader, a mystic, and a mastermind theologian. God will save her from hell! Gain 5 piety. 20% chance uh, she loses the trait greedy. And she lost the trait greedy. Oh, okay. The jester who performed during the summer fair ran around in his silly hat with bells. Before I knew it, he hit me with his bauble. Everyone laughed at this and at his jokes. Or rather, his insults. It was rather funny. Gain five prestige. Nice. When the alderman asked for permission for a summer fair, I could never have guessed I would regret that. After a pie powder court held in front of my own bailiff... They sentenced one of my vassals to being drawn in a tumbler across the town square. I can't believe their imprudence. So Duchess Osterhild was apparently thrown into a tumbler and drawn across the town square. Or they will regret this. Okay, if I'm talking about Duchess Osterhild, why does it show me Prince Mayor Arnold II of the Hansa? Osterhild? No. Who the hell is Duchess Osterhild? Oh, right, you're still the Duchess of Brabant. Oh, wait, so the person I gave to... Oh, okay, okay. I was mistaken earlier when I said, Oh, she used to be the Duchess of Brabant, now she's the vassal to another duke. I was incorrect. I thought that was Osterheld, but that was somebody else. Um, you know, I hate this lady, so who cares? Can't believe they're imprudence. Whatever. Fine. Hmm. Yeah, the gold builds back up fast, doesn't it? Ah! Peddlers are loading their wares, and the merchants are taking down their stalls. The jugglers, strolling players, and the other entertainers are preparing to leave. The summer fair is over for this year. 
It was great fun while it lasted. Gain 10 prestige. And I'll prepare for the feast of my anniversary in January. Get that claim. Ooh. Strong claim will not be inherited unless pressed in war. Okay, so I have to press it. Uh-oh. the hell happened to my chancellor? He wasn't my chancellor, was he? No. I don't know what happened to my chancellor. He... Were you my chancellor? I don't remember. I can't remember who was my chancellor. You know what? You are now, though. And you're going... Oh, that's right. He was still fabricating clamps, wasn't he? I never actually moved him again. Um, how about, let's find a vassal that I want to like me that doesn't like me very much. This guy's in prison, I don't care about. What? Alphonse. Oh! <laughs> I didn't notice. But Alphonse of Aquitaine uh, apparently had his brother killed. And yeah, ooh, this is the guy whose claim I pressed to win Aquitaine. He's now dead, and his brother Alphonse, who I fought to take Aquitaine from, is now in charge again. Ooh, I need to sweeten the pot a little bit here. Here, have some gold. Uh, why don't I make you um, my uh, keeper of the swans? Sure. And how about I send my chancellor to try to smooth things over? Yeesh. There. Work with the king of Aquitaine and try to improve things there. Good grief. That I didn't even I didn't notice that that happened. That must have been why the capital moved from there to there. And I just thought, oh, Anamar is moving his capital. What a what a <laughs> what a jaunty young man. Secretly, he was dead the whole time. Hmm. Duke Simon of Brabant doesn't like me. Oh, because Ulsterhill died, I guess? Oh, she died. Ulsterhill the lion. I think because she was in the oubliette. <laughs> Whoops. Uh-oh. Seeks to kill Louis de Narbonne. Presumably, I've already asked him to end the plot, and he has refused. Hence why I have the opportunity to try to arrest him. Um, but I only have a 1% chance of success, which is almost certainly not going to happen then. So what's going to happen is he's going to declare war on us, and we have to reconquer Aquitaine again. Damn. Well. Ooh, he got the county of Foji, that bastard. So, 19 years old. Boy, oh boy. Alright, it's on, punk. The guards failed to capture Alphonse, who has now raised his flag in rebellion to arms. Right. Calling allies? Probably say no. Grandmaster Gomez the Fat. <laughs> You've let yourself go. Uh, the Knights of Calatrava will also probably say no. That's it. Yes, we're now overthrowing. Yes, we're, we're overthrowing you now, Alphonse. You're getting your ass kicked. I kicked your ass once. I'll kick your ass a second time. Okay, really quick, before we get to our anniversary... This is, this is like, uh, it's ruining my party. Raise all the personal levies. March them here. And... Man, I was just about to get rid of that. <laughs> just about to get rid of the penalty. Okay, Delphine, yours is still pretty high. I won't raise yours. And so is Bohemia. I will raise everyone else, though. Hungary, you're up. Holland, you're up. 
Alright, you're up. Flanders, you're up. Dyer's up. Tyrell's up. Corinthia. Who else was it? I forget. Bohemia, right? Yeah, Bohemia. Thuringia. Kuln. Baden. Swabia. Saxony. Mason. Bohemia. Upper Burgundy. Oh, no, no, not Bohemia. Send Bohemia to home. Valois. Stade. Everyone else is going to be so far south. Bavaria I could raise. Lombardy I'll raise. Savoy I'll raise. Franconia I can raise. Shit, where the hell did you go? There you are, Franconia. Um, Brandenburg, I'll raise. Provence. Brabant really doesn't like me, I'll leave him alone. Lower Lorraine, raise. Alsace, raise. Luxembourg, raise. Oh man, this is going to be a freaking huge army. I think that's enough, probably. Oh, actually, I'll raise all my my personal teeny tiny vassals. The, bishop, the bishops are like, really, us? You need our soldiers? Very well. Here you go, liege. Okay. Good god, that's a lot. Alright, all you guys are marching here. Oops. You are marching also there. Um... Why don't you guys all meet up? Hmm. Um. Meet up here for now. It's kind of a lousy spot, but. And then. You guys meet up here. And you guys meet up there. There's nobody down here, right? Okay, I think that's everybody. It's gonna be huge. Three rather large armies. Ah, okay. So we'll tackle that. That war will be next time. Um, we're just gonna get to our anniversary here. Dear brother-in-law, blessings upon you and your house. We can unfortunately not join your wars at this time, says Grandmaster Gomez. Sounds like an awesome... Um, MC or, or DJ name. Grandmaster Gomez. They call me the fat. <laughs> Spinning hot shit. Right. Oh, wait. I wanted to get to my anniversary, didn't I? Which is what again? January 24th. Okay. Unpause it till January 24th. Um, Sylvester of Croatia is also not going to join the war. January 24th, January 24th, January 24th. My liege, my mission to Bordeaux has so far been a success during my visit to the court of Alphonse of Holy... <laughs> well, good. Uh, I don't need you there anymore because... Uh, I can't reassign you yet, but even when I win, I'm, he's not going to be the king of Aquitaine for much longer. So I don't really need you to improve relations with him, but thanks for trying. January 24th. Huzzah! 30 years as Kaiser. Okay. Let's plan our... Let's get our feast started here, even though we're probably not home to have it. Oh, we can't, because we're at war. 
I forgot about that. Oh, phooey. Well, you know what? As soon as the war is over, we'll have a feast or a grant hunt or another summer fair or something. I guess that summer fair that we had kind of kind of sort of counts as the uh, anniversary. Well, anyway. This uh, Aquitanian issue is not over yet. Alphonse very cleverly managed to kill off his... I don't know if it was his brother, Adamar, but whoever the... You know, whatever relation it was, his usurper, Adamar, managed to kill him and retake the throne of Aquitaine. And he decided to... I bet he intentionally conducted that plot just so that he could say no and revolt against us. So he didn't have to go the faction route and try to build up independence and stuff. Um... That's exactly what he did, the bastard. Well, anyway, he won't last much longer. Let's take a look around. Whoa, look at what just what happened to Spain. Leon is no more. Now it's Castile with a little revolt going on here. Castilian revolt. Portugal's still the same. England's got some issues going on here. Looks like little internal squabbles, though nothing major. France is under revolt. Etienne, the usurper. Countess Ermagarda of Reim. Count Hildebert of Troy. Hmm. England, Scotland, Ireland, all still about the same. Denmark, Norway, Sweden look about the same as well. Poland the same, Lithuania the same, I think. Byzantines the same. Africa about the same. Maybe the Almoravids lost a little bit of territory to the Mali. I can't tell. The Timids, I think, are the same. Except maybe they've gained that little spot there, and maybe they've pushed down here a little bit. Seljuk still hanging around. The Ilkhanate still being the Ilkhanate. Little islands everywhere. India, still India. Golden Horde still the boring Golden Horde. Nothing going on there. Rus is broken up a little bit. Rostov is now its own... Got little islands everywhere. <gasps> Excuse me, there's a Russian revolt up here. And Finland's still a mess. Uh, anyway, that I think is going to be the end of the play session, you guys. We'll pick it up here next time trying to retake Aquitaine. And we will celebrate our 30th anniversary as Kaiser. Norbert is now uh, 58 years old and has been the Kaiser for 30 years, which is quite a long, long reign. His son, uh, Dietrich, is probably chomping at the bit to uh, take over himself since he's already 36 years old. How many kids does he have? Sigismund. Who's 14? Who's educating Sigismund? You are. Can I be educating Sigismund? I don't... No. I don't think I can. Maybe I can. It could be. Maybe I should be. He's shy and he's honest. Mm. I should have been doing this a long time ago. I guess I didn't even think about it. How many... Wards do I currently have? One. Constanza. Hildegard will be eligible in a year. I'll, I probably won't want to educate her. I'll probably pass her off. Gottschalk I will, but he's still four years from needing an educator. Um, you know what? I'm going to do that, son. I'm going to steal your ward from you. Even though it's only another two years until he's of age. Decrease his opinion of... No. Prince Dietrich will get an increase of 20, his opinion of me. But he will also get a penalty of 15. Okay, so net, he'll like me 5 more, apparently. Hmm. Right, okay, well anyway, I imagine that'll be considered, and we'll get it next time. Um, oh, he's got this, oh, that's right, because of Fogia. yep. Little army down there. Alright, anyway, uh, until next time, everyone, take care. 
I will see you around, and long live House Chatenois.